Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're going to be talking about keeping ourselves a little bit organized. So I got a lot of fun toys over the holidays. Um, well, and also, let's be honest, it didn't need to be the holidays. I was always going to have it. <laughs> but anyway, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support. All right, let's talk about all the things I have on my desk. The first thing is, these are just the slot bracelets. My daughter and her friends use them all the time. They're super cheap on Amazon. They're, granted, these are not the cutest. I will say the cutest ones that I have seen ever, ever, ever is from Tech Wrap Vinyl. I just don't know if I can, um, <laughs> they're beautiful. They're pastels. Um, they look, they're clearly not kid stuff. <laughs> But um, I have so much that I want to use it for that I just, for my pocket, um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't spend that much. So what I did was I went on Amazon and just bought a ton, like I think 144 to be exact. So what I'm using them for is for anything that you need to roll up wrapping paper. Um, the one thing that I'm doing with my wrapping paper is because <clears throat> for Christmas, you truly only use those wrapping rolls for Christmas. So I um, did, you know, these little slot bracelets on all the Christmas wrapping rolls. And then I got one cheap garment bag and stuck all the rolls in there and hung it in my closet, <clears throat> which they're not going to come out again until maybe in November. November, if I'm like <laughs> super prepared and ready to start wrapping gifts, right? But most likely in December. But anyway, that then clears up the rest of my rolls, easier to find, easier to see, and to be more organized with the rest of my paper. And the rest of the paper, I mean, truly, you can have, you know, you can use red wrapping paper any time of the year, right? Like, I feel like the only thing specific to Christmas are Christmas rolls, and you would never use it again until Christmas time. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you quickly. So wrapping paper is one of the things that I'm using it for. Also vinyl. So HTV, heat transfer vinyl, the iron-on vinyl, or the adhesive vinyl. So I'll show you what that would look like. So I've also gotten to the point where I'm still, this one I haven't done, obviously, but I am rolling them kind of tight because... The adhesive vinyl, they, it's, um, they're very stable and sturdy and, and they've got, I don't know, like substance to them. So you can roll them tighter. So what I've been doing is I've actually gotten rid of the little, um, you know, the brown rolls that they come with, uh, just so that I can make it tighter so I can fit more rolls into my drawer. Okay. So there is one. And so you can see, I mean, right, I don't know why I didn't do this before, and now they don't unravel on me, and I can see all of my, all of my colors, and so, like, this is how thick it would be because I have this, the, you know, kind of like the thick roll that it comes in, and so look, look at how much smaller it can be, and so you can fit a little bit more. So let's roll these up. And they stay, and I just love it. Um, like I said, I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out. So let's do this one. Okay, so I've got my three rolls, and in here I've, I have some scrap. But you can see I don't need this anymore, so... I will recycle that or give it to my daughter's classroom teacher to see, but that's one thing. So I'm doing this with the wrapping paper as well. And like I said, HTV and my vinyl, pretty much anything that you can roll up. Um, now we'll keep it, you know, won't have any creases. They won't unravel and it's perfect in there. So I'm going to move these aside. The next tool that I really, really like, and not so much organizational, but it's nice to have my desk kind of clean, and this is the one thing. I'm. It's not that it's taking the place of anything, but this little glue bottle holder, first of all, you know I'm a huge fan of Burley Art Glue. Um, this glue bottle holder is from Whimsical Wishes AZ. They're on Etsy. They also sell some of their products on the Barely Art website. 
So what this is, and it's not just a glue bottle holder, but you've seen me, I know I've definitely done this on, on a YouTube tutorial, <laughs> which is basically I forget to put the cap onto my glue bottle, and so by the time I get to it, it's dried up, and then I'm looking for the pin to um, unclog my bottle. Well, now I no longer need to do that. All I need to do is have this glue bottle holder. So I keep it like that. At the bottom, what meets the tip is a silicone pad, so it keeps my glue from coming out and it keeps it from getting dry. Amazing, right? <laughs> and like, what? where has it been, right? Um, so let me show you. I'm gonna grab, um, I wanna grab a scrap piece of paper, so give me one second. I have so much scrap everywhere, except for when I need to do a little demo. So this is how I see myself using it. This will always be on my desk because this glue is always on my desk. Take it out, use it, put it back in, and don't think about it. I mean, look at that. Perfect. All right, that's product number two. <laughs> Okay, the next one, um, and I'm so excited to be doing this new, adding this new craft to my, um, basically to my toolbox. I am now officially in love with die cutting. I know it's been around forever and it, I feel like it's the old school original crafting that I never got into, but now I am. So if you're new to it, or if you have this already, this is how I plan on organizing it. So. These are all my dies from Scrap Diva. I do love her dies, they're so stinking cute. So what I did was basically, I went on Amazon, so the link will be there. I got all these magnetic sheets so that I don't lose any pieces. I use it, I put it back, they're easy to take on and off, and it's all together. And then I got these plastic um, wraps, I guess envelopes and I got them bigger than the five by seven so that it goes in and out easily and then that way all of my dies are together and they just go into this little bin and I also have like my um, the blocks that you stick them through so pretty much I, I don't have a lot of tools for die cutting so everything right now fits in here um, I probably will have a few more of these <laughs> before the end of the year, right? And that way, so all my die cuts are here together, and then I just have my actual die cutting machine um, put away so that it's out of sight and nice and clean and everything's all organized. I know. Um, I'm trying because it's getting crazy. I love all these tools and products, but I've got to keep myself a little bit more organized than I have been. <laughs> so, all right, let me know if I've missed anything, but these were my, my three favorite things that I needed to, I needed them. So, all right, comments, um, questions all of it i'm here so please post it below and lastly it's january 2023 there's still time to buy tickets to my workshop xoxo craft girls in february the first weekend in february are for all those who can't make it in person in texas i am doing zoom classes with josie from sophie's corner crafts we have three workshops um 3d letters cake toppers, and an off the mat character. The same workshops are also available for the in-person portion, uh, the in-person version, uh, which is in Texas in Arlington at the Barely Art Headquarters. All of the information that you can get will be at theuselesscrafter.com. It's gonna be amazing. One of the things that we've added to XOXO Craft Girls is there's going to be an hour meet and greet and there are gonna be a couple other crafting influencers that you may know and may love and follow already. They are gonna be around at the Barely Art Headquarters um, for, you know, to chat, ask questions, take selfies, <laughs> uh, pretty much just to get to know. I mean, it's an exciting time for, for both the influencers and the workshop attendees. And I'm gonna be, you know, 
fangirling as well because there are these are crafters that I haven't met in person. I have relationships with them online, but I'm super excited to meet them. I'm gonna just list off some of the some of the crafters that we know for sure that will be there. We've got um, obviously Josie, my co-host, Sophie's Corner Crafts, um, Celeste from Glue Gun Riot, Claudia from Miss Olivia Rose Crafts, which is, I mean, she's like, she's going to be forever in my heart. Uh, she was part of um, Craft Girl Summer. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Uh, we also have Yesenia from Senia's Paper Studio, Cherise from Party Shell Crafts, Lily from J.I. Designs, Liz, Custom Paper Decor, Maria from Forever Crafty, my other off the mat like goddess, uh, V from Petals by V, if you don't follow this flower genius, um, you should. And uh, we have Jen from Jen Cassell, and Ema, oh my gosh, my favorite, Ema from Whimsy Designs USA. She is going to be there as well. So yeah, come, come on. It's going to be amazing. Um, all right. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.